What if I told you that our evolutionary origin isn't just confined to Earth, but has stretched across our entire solar system? Yes, you heard that right. We've been leapfrogging from planet to planet as they move in and out of the so-called Goldilocks zone. Each planet spends about a billion years in this habitable zone. And we, clever beings that we are, have been utilizing these sweet spots for at least four such planetary stages. Now, why don't we find any trace of our missing evolutionary links here on Earth? Because, my dear listener, we lived on Mars for a billion years. Before its cataclysm, we sent a crew of humans to the next viable planet to start life anew, continue our evolution. But here's the twist. They're not different planets at all. They represent Earth in different stages of its life cycle. Let's wind back the clock to the very beginning. Picture the sun, a young star about to birth the first version of Earth. Every billion years, the sun ejects a clump of iron, which eventually forms the heart of a new planet. At one billion years, we see Mercury. At two billion, Venus appears. Three billion brings us Earth. And four billion, Mars, and so on. But the intrigue doesn't end there. Jupiter, at seven billion years, doesn't sustain life as we know it. But it played a crucial role. It was struck by a celestial object that ignited its hydrogen atmosphere. This catastrophic event caused an interaction among these planetary incarnations, setting into motion a paradoxical loop of opportunity. In this explosion, microbial life was ejected across our solar system, landing on Venus, thus giving life another billion years to evolve. This initiated a cycle allowing us to evolve potentially indefinitely. Our future selves, the benefactors of this cosmic accident, are now safeguarding it. Because, you see, it is essential to our existence. We are now hopping alongside an asteroid, this asteroid carrying the microbial form of life, still evolving after four billion years. Accompanied by an astronaut bringing evolved mammal DNA to Earth simultaneously. This explains why, if we evolved from monkeys, why didn't they evolve too? Each time they have to start over as primordial soup. And those fossils of elongated skulls found around the world, they could be proof of our future evolution found in our distant past. We are essentially reusing Earth, traveling through time to ensure our continuity for eternity. Mind-blowing, isn't it? If you are a passionate explorer of the mysteries in our cosmos and eager to uncover new perspectives, you've come to the right place. We post thought-provoking videos every day, so don't miss out on any of our mind-blowing episodes. Hit that subscribe button now and embark on more awe-inspiring voyages of discovery.